Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wookie, and I'm back with some more Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. Now, unfortunately, I was planning to do a different kind of video today, but I'm just too busy with work. So I figure what I'm going to do instead is that I'm actually going to check out some replays of the deck I have been using. I want to actually play it, but I don't actually have time to record a duel right now. Uh, because I don't know how long it could take. It could take 40 minutes, it could take 2 minutes, I don't know, but... So we're going to check out some replays of my frog deck, so I hope you liked the video. If you do, feel free to like, comment down below, tell me how you're feeling. I've been using frogs this season, I think what I'm going to do is that every season I'm basically going to try a new deck. My first season was the Invoked, um, Invoked Shadal Dogmatica, which I think is a better deck than frogs, but frogs is a lot more fun when you win. So, let me see, let's start with this one. The last one I'll share, I'll start, the one that you saw up top, which is 25 turns, I'll share for last. If you've been following me on my Twitter, you've seen it. It says 25 turns, but it did not, <laughs> it was much faster than it seemed. So this one, I believe, which is against an Eldic deck. So here's the basic thing with the deck, is that you want to get Ronin Toten. It's basically all about, like, control. So you want to get this guy right here. Totally awesome on the field, and you also have a lot of other um, Paleozoic, Paleozoic stuff because the Paleozoics can also be used to summon the frog. So you kind of use a combination of both. This is also a very cheap deck, by the way. I should really improve it a little bit more because a lot of the cards I'm running are... Um, they make sense for someone who's trying to be a little bit more money conscious. Not money conscious. Yeah, I guess money is a little bit of it, but you are conscious and stuff like that. And... Um, it is built a little bit on the cheap side. I also use Reasoning, by the way. I knew he was getting an Eldritch, uh, which I think is why I said level 10, but I actually can't remember if Eldritch is, Eld Eldritch is level 10 or level 11. I think he's one of the two. There he is. Can't be special summon, but he's going to do it anyway using his dumbass effect. There he is. Boom. Uh, he kills the Dupe Frog, but I'm okay with it because I actually prefer Dupe Frog to die. It's all good for me. Now here's the limit, your main combo here, Swamp Frog. He's gonna try and use Wild Revelry of the Warlords, but it's not gonna matter because I'm going to get rid of that real quick. This makes it so you can only have one type of monster. This is an Eldritch player, so he's obviously um, a bit of a dick in what he does because all Eldritch players are very annoying. The funny thing is that people actually think that this deck is an Eldritch deck up until they actually see it. So he was actually kind of right on Soloming the Totally Awesome. Because if I have Totally Awesome, I would have been able to shut him down completely. But you can see here, he's basically wasted all his resources, and I can still summon. And of course, so can he with all his nonsense as well. But it's fine. Because uh, you see here, I'm going to summon actually two stuff, so because it was already in the graveyard. And this is where you can kind of just like swarm the field and stuff. It's very easy to. And the good thing about XYZ summoning is that when you do it with the Paleozoics, because they get removed from play if they leave the field, but because they become material, doesn't have to worry that much. He's going to use Solemn on it, but it's okay because I had Dinomiscus and then I can bring him back. And then we're all good here and he's basically wasted his entire field for me to still have advantage. Boom, 12. I'm in a pretty good feeling right now because I have Ash Blossom, but because it's Eldritch, he's able to get infinite amount of traps and stuff set down because oh my god. He's also paid half his life points twice, so he's very close to dying. I think when I originally played it, this is the guy who disconnects, by the way. Um, when he got hit with the 1200, he was about to just straight up quit the game. He chose not to, though. And I think you're just seeing pretty close to the point where he's thinking about quitting the game again. Mm, tribute. Goodbye. He's going to bring him back. Yeah, he's going to make a big old beat stick. Very annoying to deal with this deck. Easily one of the most annoying out there. Special summon one, but I don't care. Boom, rid, rid of the top 10 of my cards. I basically drew the par for the perfect card for the top 10. There could not have been a better card. Lost to win, right here. Get back my Palymysticus. And here's the fun part of the deck, because he thinks I'm basically out of stuff, but I'm not, because I can still uh, Link Summon, which I have not done at all this entire game. And funny enough, through frogs, I've actually learned how to better use uh, Link Summoning just because you take so much advantage of it. See, here it is. And this is around the point where he disconnects from the game and he loses because he disconnects. Like a coward. Like a damn coward. Running from the frogs. Connection failed. We all know that he actually just straight up lost and didn't want the smoke. It's fine, though. Next game. 
I've been able to beat, I think, all the top decks. I've even been able to beat Drayton. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to save the replay because I realized you could only save 10. Oh man, if only. I don't know if this is the Drayton one. I think you can probably see it on my Twitter, the Drayton play, but then I was able to beat Drayton once with this deck because that was the only time I was ever to beat. Every other time I lost. So actually, the, the big problem with the deck Endless and Platinum is that um, when the deck works, it's fantastic, but the problem is this is another archetype, by the way, that completely can screw over frogs, trap tricks, because you use so many traps. So it's really a game of who can use traps better. Um, ooh, Dogmatica. Uh, I actually thought that was a little bit of a mistake on his part. I don't like summoning Dogmatica uh, as someone who actually uses this card. I don't like summoning it when I don't have a Dogmatica card to negate an effect. It feels like you're wasting an effect of the card. Mm. But man, Trap Tricks, they are very annoying to deal with. The good thing here is that my Toad actually has 2,000 defense, so he's actually very hard to kill. And I'm here thinking, like, what am I gonna do? He's able to set that, draw two cards. Totally awesome's on the field. He's gonna use that, but it's okay, because I'm gonna take that. That's mine. He's gonna use this Trap Trick, though. I actually should think I should probably run Trap Trick a little bit, uh, but it's an SR card, so that's why I don't run it. It would help a little bit with some of the breaking aspects. Um, but yeah, this deck's very hard for me to beat. I think I've only beaten it once, which was the first time I fought it, and that was when I was like, I don't know if I'm going to be able to beat this. Just because they're able to constantly summon stuff, and it's annoying to deal with. Oh, yeah, and that also hurts, by the way, what he's doing there with the, the Gravekeeper stuff, because I take 2,000 for that. <laughs> um, thankfully, the one thing I realize is as long as you can handle the board, trap tricks aren't that hard to deal with, in all honesty, so that's what I kind of do. So here, I'm bringing the Toad, and I think I Link Summon. Yes, that is exactly what I do here. Um, but yeah, you can see here the deck, very simple. What, what I was saying is that the, the, the main difference between top decks and fun, silly decks, because I think this is a great deck, I actually really like using it. Um, but the main problem with it is that it has sometimes some consistency problems, and some of the best decks just, the reason they're top decks is that they just don't have consistency problems. But when this deck works, I think it's amazing and it's freaking fun to play. It is really one of the decks I have the most fun playing with. <laughs> Because you can see here, they kind of just don't know how to really deal with it most of the time. And here's another. I actually don't remember if I set him in defense mode. I think it. No, I put him in attack mode. Okay. Yeah. Look at this amazing play. Big plays. I'm pretty sure I win this one, but man, do these games take so long to actually get going. I had to fight so hard. <laughs> Oh, and he he messed up in this one by getting rid of the frog. I think he, I think he was afraid of the frog. He feared the frog. Oh, here's this man. And I'm like, I'm gonna do this. I knew how much material he had. Boom, lost win, negate his effect. This is a mean combo because then he gets 15 attack, and I'm able to use one of my lessers on it, which is pretty nice actually. I didn't realize that interaction until I had done it, which is actually probably something that would be good to keep in mind for the future. That was his own card, too. Yeah, and then here come the big plays. The big Link summons coming. Oh, never mind. I think they're coming up pretty soon, though. Because, again, he does not have very much life points left. Oh, he destroyed it, but it didn't matter because I could just. I think I had another one in the graveyard. Yeah, this was what I was doing. <laughs> I was bringing out Sky Thunder, and I was getting rid of that. Oh, that felt good. You have no idea how good that felt, and he gave up right after that. Mm, again, really fun. And here's the last one for now. I will actually play a live duel when I have some less time from work. Hopefully pretty soon. I think tomorrow I'm a little less busy, so I'll be able to do it. But this was, was really fun, because this was against, the I think, a Numeron Network OTK deck. And... <laughs> It's pretty great, as you can see here. Put stuff down. Stomps me right there, so I really don't play anything, but then... I did. <laughs> Here's the funny thing, if he had not played that Ash Blossom, I think I would have lost, because I would have played a card. 
um, one of the top two cards of my next deck would have been something I could have played, I think. And it's kind of hilarious how this kind of goes on. So what he's basically wants is that, if you can see here from his graveyard, because he has like a lot of gold and stuff like this, is that he wants me to have a monster on the field, but it's so his monsters, which are in the extra deck, who are Numeron, it's so he can crash into them. He will give them a crazy, a crazy high attack. So here was my basic way of stopping him, because he wants me to have a monster in the field. I'm just going to continuously bring back Swamp Frog over and over and over again and attack him and attack. And this is in Platinum, by the way, so this guy's used to dealing with some a lot of good decks here. I was able to Torrential. I was surprised that he didn't just give up right here. Return Swamp Frog to the hand. <laughs> this is so mean. And around this part is where he finally gives up because I'm going here. Summon Mistar Boy. Go. And then I go into Decode Talker. And I think, yeah, he gets past to get Decode Talker. And then he gets to this guy right here, Access Code Talker. And I was about to just completely destroy him, but he decided, hey, you've wasted enough of my time. <laughs> that was a 25 turn game of Yu Gi Oh! And it felt like it when we were playing it, but in replay, it's actually way funnier than that because of how much we just stopped doing everything. But yeah, and let me show you the deck. I actually just recently added uh, Nibiru because I had been playing some decks where I was like, it was actually, actually, after dueling Neo, I'm like, you know what? If I had Nibiru, Nibiru, I would have been able to win, or at the very least, not look like an idiot when I'm about to lose. Um, so he's in the deck now, but you can see here it's very budget. This is a very budget ass looking deck <laughs> Like even this you are you get free like the only thing that's not budget are these guys One yeah one two yeah, see but even like in the comparison to a lot of other extra decks. This is not nothing But Anyway, that's the end of the video everyone. I hope you liked it. Um, I will actually come back with a duel next time I swear I just want to do this now and now I need to go pick up my mom. Goodbye everyone. Have a good day. Good night. Bye